it is first spice here aka climber here hey back at it again with another video and this is my first ever video actually talking to you guys because i don't know i was like i should do a youtube channel where i talk and dance so that's what i'm doing i haven't posted a video in like forever i know but her ears like a wonky because she was like i set her down in a weird position so yeah but one, this is Karma. I know the last video I did of Karma was like a forever ago, but this is Karma new and updated. I removed the googly things, she got hair, she got horns, she got sleeve paws, she has feet but they're not on, and she has a tail and it's great and yeah! But um, yeah, today this video is basically going to be tips for beginners, the top three tips um, for beginner fursuit makers. Um, because as I started making fursuits and as I watch others also go through the process of learning how to make fursuits, I realized a lot of people didn't know where to start. So this is going to be Karma's top three tips for beginner fursuit makers. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to title this video, but I think that's going to be it. Yeah. So first tip, if I look down, it's because I'm looking at my notes. So yeah. First tip is YouTube videos. Look up hours and hours of YouTube videos. I'm not going to stress that enough, especially if you have no idea what you're doing. Videos pictures look at other people's 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 what look at other people's fursuits look at a bunch of tutorials on youtube there are a lot of tutorials on youtube on how to make fursuits i will even link some a playlist down below if you need help with it because honestly that's what helped me a lot when it came to starting um, making fursuits because you get so confused and so lost on what to start with first that it gets very overwhelming so doing a lot of YouTube research and a lot of videos will help you a lot when it comes to doing your little experience when it comes to YouTube not YouTube first you make it huh. okay and eventually you'll find your own style as you make fursuits so yeah um second tip is go cheap I am not going to stress that enough guys do not try to buy the most expensive fur out there for your first fursuit. I know that's going to be very tempting, but start with something that's not too expensive. As you can tell, Karma, she was a test fursuit, if you guys didn't know. Fleece is very, very cheap versus um, fur. So I use fleece for a majority of her because this is my first ever kimono style fursuit. And I wanted to see how it was, but I didn't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on her fur. So, I bought fleece, which her fleece was not expensive at all, and then I bought white fur, which if you guys didn't know, if you buy white fur online, it's very cheap, it's $20 a yard. Um, white and black fur tends to be on the cheaper end versus like other colored fur, so just keep that in mind as well. Um, yeah, so what I recommend is if you're going to buy fur, do not go to local fabric stores. They suck. Um... Like Joanne's fabric, for instance, uh, no. I do not recommend them for fur. The reason why is because their fur quality is not the greatest for a fursuit. And they're overpriced. As in, if you go online, you could buy better quality fur cheaper than when if you go to a local fabric store. So compare prices to different places before you just go and buy supplies. As well as when it comes to the foam and it comes to the glue guns and it comes to all that good stuff. Make sure you do some research. So I got, I actually still get my supplies from Walmart because I'm still a beginner fursuiter. I have made a couple fursuits though. I've made like two, three, and I'm working on more commissions. But I still consider myself a beginner because I still struggle in certain areas. Um, so I actually still get my foam from Walmart, which they have this like long, thick, I'll show you guys. Ah. This is the foam that Walmart sells. Well, my Walmart, they have this like very thin foam and it comes in like super long sheets. Um, I feel like, and even though you have to like piles on layers and layers to make the muzzle and to make the cheeks, um, it's very cheap. I think it's like $15 for this like long bundle, which is fairly decent for foam. So I highly recommend getting this project foam from Walmart if you have one near you or find something cheaper. Go online, look up stuff, see if you can find things. As well as get glue guns from Walmart. Yep. If you're a beginner, I recommend that because um, Walmart, um, their glue guns, I get the 100 pack and I think it's like $5. Um, but it is not, it's not a super expensive, wow, um, fursuit. Not fursuit. Eh. Um, super expensive glue gun that's going to like, huh. But like, if you're in a 
the budget, work with the budget. Do some research. Don't just go out there and buy, like, all the good stuff. Um, and just do your research, honestly. When it comes to materials, especially if you, like, live somewhere that doesn't have a lot of things, do a little bit of research before you go splurge all your money on fursuit making. Um, and the last step, step I have is slow and steady. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be like, girl, get out of here. Because, you know, I want a fursuit. And, you know, that's going to be, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, yeah. No, it's not. Slow and steady rids the waist all ways. Yeah, yeah. Um, I recommend when you make the base of your fursuit, give it a day. Finish the base, give it a day, go to the next, look at it, and make sure it's how you want it. Make sure that it, you don't have no regrets once you start furring, because once you start furring, there's no going back. So, slow and steady wins the race. Don't try to rush fursuits, because I've done that, and trust me, they did not turn out good because I tried to rush them like super fast. So make sure you go slow and steady, especially if you're making it for someone, if you're starting commissions, which if you want me to do a video about how to get started with commissions, my arm sleeves like being weird, it's like loose here for some reason, um, I will do a video of that because, you know, why not? But, um, slow and steady rinse the waist, 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 race. Um, so yeah, making fire suits slow and steady, uh, make sure you take your time and don't try to rush it, even though you're like, I can't really done to get my fursuit done. Oh my god, I'm super duper fine. Ah! Yeah, no, okay. Slow and steady wins the race to everyone, okay? So make sure you just take your time and make your fursuit the way you want it. Um, and don't try to rush it, um, because that could be like the biggest mistake you ever do. So, yeah. So those are my three tips for beginning fursuit makers. Um, I do do fursuit commissions and fursuits, um, so... I, and I'm also still a beginner, that's why I wanted to get the tips out. Um, because, I don't know, a lot of people ask me, they're like, how did you start making fursuits? And I'm like, well, I mean, I started off with YouTube and basically went from there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My arm sleeve keeps slipping down because it's not secure. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please cover your guys, and I see you lovely, lovely people later. <coughs> Bye!